Hi, I'm Nathan Tannenbaum with these stories from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Hello. More than one reference to President Barack Obama in Las Vegas on President's Day Monday. We're going to start with Madame Tussauds Wax Museum on the Las Vegas Strip, unveiling a new exhibit on the holiday, a recreation of the Oval Office in the White House with, of course, the wax figure of the president. Also Monday, the Las Vegas Ward 5 Chamber of Commerce had a noontime celebration of President's Day. Usually people get off work, they're off for, for the holidays, President's Day, and they just, you know, lounge around and with the family. So we decided we would bring a collected family together on President's Day and have a good time doing it. So hopefully next year, this is the first start. Next year our plans are is to have 44 floats a president from George Washington up to President Obama. The entire video of the RJ's Brandon Green on the ReviewJournal.com multimedia pages. Now all of this Obama talk is just days ahead of the president himself arriving in Southern Nevada Thursday evening for a day of appearances with Senator Harry Reid Friday. The RJ will keep you posted as details of that visit become available. And if you just can't get enough politics... Join me when my RJ headliner guest will be Review Journal political writer Laura Myers will be with KXNT's Morning Source host Alan Stock during the 8 a.m. hour on Wednesday. Myers has had three extended pieces on Republicans hoping to get their party's nomination to run against Harry Reid in November. She'll be taking your calls on any political topic again during the 8 a.m. hour Wednesday on KXNT that's on your AM radio dial at 840, also streaming online at KXNT.com. An objection to the Obama administration's plans to zero out the budget on the Yucca Mountain Nuclear Waste Storage Project. First posted as breaking news Monday morning, Tuesday's print and online editions of the Review Journal have more on the governor of South Carolina, who's planned a Tuesday news conference. What does Mark Sanford have up his sleeve? It'll be on the online breaking news section, ReviewJournal.com. The petition effort to get the so-called personhood issue before Nevada voters was shot down by a judge, but now the group behind the effort has appealed that decision. Review Journal Capitol Bureau Chief Ed Vogel reports from Carson City on Tuesday. Review Journal business writer Jennifer Robison Tuesday has a story on the explosion of texting, and not just the social nature of the phenomenon, but the business use of that thumb-racking exercise. From ordering fast food, to placing sports bets, to contributing to Haiti earthquake relief, to contacting a lawyer, all via text. Read about it Tuesday in the business pages of the Review Journal. Hey, if you check out my Tuesday column in the Las Vegas Review Journal, I have an interview with David R. Kett. Uh, we talk about uh, what it was like to be called metrosexual back in the days when men couldn't really get away with dressing well. Uh, we also talk about uh, he and his wife, Courtney Cox, and whether they're going to have a baby. And we talk about his clothing line. He's in town uh, Tuesday through Thursday for the Magic Fashion Convention. So check that out in Tuesday's Review Journal. And we have a sneak peek at a video from our Neighborhood View newspapers about a local boxer helping at-risk youth. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I was real lost, you know what I mean? I hated myself, I hated my family, you know, I was into all sorts of things, you know, like drug, I was into drugs, gang violence. I was, I was, actually I didn't see myself, I didn't really care. I didn't really care about anybody. I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't care about nobody except me. Well, the most important thing is to me, man, is actually to keep them out of trouble, man. Give them something to do and pick up a skill and someone want to reach the Olympics and I want to be there for them to reach that goal. The entire video can be found along with other great neighborhood videos at www.viewnews.com. Now your weather. Well, if you were to call a high temp near 70 warm in the middle of July, well, you'd get laughed at. But here in the middle of February, it's pretty nice. And even if we don't get quite that far, daytime highs in the mid to upper 60s are certainly considered above normal for this time of year. Overnight lows should be in the mid to upper 40s with the sun and clouds coming and going over the next four days. For breaking news 24-7, you're at the right spot. ReviewJournal.com.